Getting the car fueled up. Getting me fueled up. We road trip, people. So I uh, taking a little solo road trip down to Massanutten Resort. Now, any of you are the any of you Virginia locals know that Massanutten is a pretty well-known ski resort. I actually myself have been there a few times way back in the day and some like I think church youth group ski trip stuff. But uh, I won this raffle at the National Harbor Wine and Food Festival a couple weeks ago. Get out of here! And uh, sure enough, got to go sit, listen to this pitch, uh, <laughs> a 90-minute presentation about the resort. I'm pretty sure they're gonna try to sell me like a condo or a timeshare or something. But if I just stay strong and true to myself and know the power of the word no, I'll make it through 90 minutes. I get a $250 Visa gift card and a three-night, two-day stay for six at a private condo on the resort, no blackout dates, anytime I want. Well, that's when they say at least. So let's hit the road. Uh, I've got about a two hour drive ahead of me. And so we're gonna be blasting through some podcasts and then we'll roll up to Massanutten. Massanutten. Uh, and in case anyone's wondering, I sound like I'm talking underwater because we are in about day four of sinus infection number four of the year. <coughs> I don't really suffer from allergies that bad, but I gotta say, since being away from Virginia, being all around the world for six years, moving back to Virginia, and then honestly moving up to Northern Virginia uh, for the past year, I get hit hard, hard. These allergies, shit. And plus, I don't remember when I moved to Seattle because I haven't seen the sun in like three weeks. It's been rainy. Doo doo caca weather. <sighs> it go rain. Psoriasis, um, it's um, 18 times a Alright, supposed to be here 1 o'clock, out here 105. Don't like being tardy, but to hit some traffic because some weather. So, alright, there it is. Let's go get this over with and get my free swag. Well, Master Nutton, so far you're not doing that well. So I come to the address on the piece of paper, the date and time that they tell me to. There's no one here. Building's all locked up uh, except for some carpet cleaners. So I'm not here to meet with some carpet cleaners. I'm here to get my tour on. So I contacted uh, a number I found online. Turns out I have to go back down the mountain, another two and a half miles, and go to a building with no address. She just described it to me and hope I find it. So I'm now about 15 minutes late. I hate being late. I hate it. It's one of my biggest pet peeves about people. I hate being late. So, uh, at least it's not my fault. I'm gonna go down and check it out. Ooh, ooh, I hope this cuts into the tour time. That means I have less time to listen to them try to sell me something. All right, well, let's see what happens. Hmm, you think maybe the tour center building is where you should tell people to go for the tour? Okay, so the tour is over, and I gotta say, massive nothing is like pretty cool. Um, let me turn off the car, it's kinda loud. All right, so uh, the tour went well. Although I gotta say, I had some difficulties finding it because they give you the wrong address. But uh, other than that, the tour guy was pretty cool. Just really loud, huh? But I stood by my guns. I learned how to say no and uh, got what I was promised, which is a uh, trip. I can come back anytime in the next year for three nights, two days. Uh, two bedroom, two bath condo for up to like five or six people. And then got my $325 Visa gift card. So I guess all in all for four hour round trip commute, 90 minute tour. So we're looking at about, I call it a six hour day. Um, eh, not a bad deal. So headed back to DC, gonna stop and get some food, go meet up with uh, Miss Fiance Boo Thang hit up a small session, get this weekend started. And then tomorrow, heading down to Richmond with all my boys for a Leadbury fitting for some groomsman attire for the wedding. All right, Massa Nutton, zero, the elder one. The prize and the process. Make mistakes, get feedback, learn, grow. Make mistakes, get feedback, learn, grow. Take massive action, uh, get some results.
and then get more feedback to get to the next level. That process is going to create and cause so much pain in you. The pain in the process, something that has been very true in my life in the last several months, and eh, I guess about like last year. I guess I should call this the, uh, what was that movie? The Lincoln Lawyer, where Matthew McConaughey did all of his work out of his car, The Lincoln, that's why it was The Lincoln Lawyer. I will be the forerunner of Logger. The four vlogger, yeah. <laughs> um, damn, I'm in my car a lot. So I had a, the trip today up to Mass, well, down to Massanutten. So I had about four hours round trip to kind of just be in the car by myself. And I've just been blowing through some of these podcasts. And I found this guy, Lewis Howes, through one of my other favorite podcasts, The Model Health Show, Mr. Sean Stevenson. Um, I'm pretty sure it was him. Anyways, somehow I came across Lewis Howes' podcast and he just gets phenomenal guest speakers on all about just shaking off the shit that's happened to you in your life and really realizing what it is you want to do, what it is you're meant to do, and the steps necessary to kind of just get there and just blowing through all the excuses that we come up with ourselves to to wait and this one that I listened to today I guess every Friday he does a pretty short one maybe between 5 and 11 minutes and it was actually from May 6th called the prize in the process and it's all about how the goal that you're seeking requires so much work to obtain that goal but the fact that you reach that goal isn't the achievement it's the work that you put in it's the trials the tribulations it's the failures it's the successes it's every single thing that you did and did not do to obtain that goal that really solidifies it and really validates it and is what gives it value and it's something that's been ringing true in my personal life my professional life uh, my relationships it is something that is just so when you really think about it when you hear what he's saying it is just so basic but having the mental awareness and clarity to really see how you can apply what you're hearing i think it's one of the greatest things that i've become aware of <laughs> recently and so um in my own private venture of starting my own business and taking on personal clients and the this this the being scared and the perfection that you overanalyze everything the like he was talking about with the logo i spent like two months working with a friend of mine on a logo design and I've been doing the website development all on my own uh, I've had Max help me out show me a few things online um, but for the most part it's just putting in the due diligence putting in the hard work the late hours and I know the goal that I want to achieve and it's starting to pay off it's seeing the fruits of your labor as it happens you don't necessarily have to wait these days to you know put in 10 20 years in a company to hopefully just make it to the top and retire you can have a job you can have another job you can find a way to make your passion your profession and so i just can't talk highly enough about all these podcasts and books and other sources of knowledge guys so if there's anything that you are interested in pursuing find someone who's already doing it or has done it and just listen just listen put yourself in the situation absorb be present in the moment and just hear listen and hear to what they have to say um uh, he has a book out called the school of greatness i'm probably going to pick it up <laughs> i'm reading like three or four different books right now i have one at home that i read when i go to bed i have one that i read like on breaks and at lunch at work <coughs> uh, and i have uh, like an audio book that i'm trying to go through so that's a problem with learning is once you kind of get hooked you can't stop you find another resource you find another reference you hear someone who the person that you're listening to on a podcast interviews and you want to go venture out and hear what they have to say uh, someone that you're reading interview someone else and you want to read their book so um, it's really hard education I think in education and passion have to go hand in hand but it's really it takes a lot of time management and prioritization to really kind of compartmentalize what it is exactly that you're seeking what it is that you are looking for in that moment and what it is that you need and want to absorb so um, podcasts hands down have been like my life right now Josh Trent with Wellness Force Radio Sean Stevenson with the Model Health Show and Lewis Howes with the School of Greatness are just on repeat Every time I'm in the car, I keep them on the background. I replay episodes at work um, in my office, just kind of have passive learning. But um, the prize in the process, guys, I promise you, if you put in the work now, even if you don't know what your prize is, even if you don't know what your goal is, through the process, through failure, through successes, you will weed out what it is that you're meant to do and what you're not meant to do. And just as we go through jobs and internships and relationships, don't view things that don't work out or what you don't stick with as failures, 
they're all successes, I promise you. They are all successes in the fact that they showed you what it is you are not meant to do or who you're not meant to be with or what you should realign your focus on. And so there is, I'm convinced there's no failure. There are only uh, happier learning processes and not so happy learning processes. So um, just kind of a, a tangent. I wish I did this on the rooftop. It would have been so much better scenery, but I just had a really great workout and got in the car and this podcast hit me and I just wanted to kind of just word vomit this out. So I promise you, the process and the prize go hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other and the prize is in the process and the process will show you the prize, guys. So uh, go check him out, Lewis Howes, The School of Greatness. Highly recommend it. So yeah.